chair of the Telecommunications Subcommittee, Ms. Eshoo, for two minutes. Gentlelady is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, thank the ranking member of the committee. Uh, Mr. Speaker, within this bill are provisions on spectrum that will define our nation's ability to lead uh, the world in wireless broadband deployment. It will also define how we will finally, finally provide our first responders with a nationwide interoperable broadband network that the 9-11 Commission called for. I appreciate Chairman Waldman's, uh, uh, Walden's work with the minority, including the agreement on authorizing voluntary uh, incentive spectrum auctions, reallocating the D block for public safety, and providing the initial funding for next generation 9-11. I do have four concerns, and I want to point them out. First, uh, pertaining to the treatment of unlicensed spectrum. Unlicensed spectrum has created an innovative space for entrepreneurs, enabling Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and thousands of other devices and services, all meaning jobs. In fact, last month, the Consumer Federation of America released a new study which found the consumer benefits of unlicensed spectrum surpassing $50 billion, that's with a B, dollars per year. Prohibiting the FCC, the expert agency, from using some of our nation's best airwaves for unlicensed use, as the House language does, is simply foolhardy. Secondly, I'm very concerned about how the bill treats the spectrum that public safety needs to create and manage a nationwide interoperable broadband network. What the Republican bill does on the one hand is to give, but on the other hand, it takes away. And this is not a solution, and I don't believe it's fair to public safety in our country. Third, the bill encourages the development of 50 separate networks instead of one nationwide network. Past experiences uh, demonstrate that a state-based approach fails to achieve interoperability. I think it's going to cost money, and uh, I don't think that it's going to work. Lastly, the provisions that restrict the FCC – may I have 10 more seconds? I yield another 30 seconds. Thank you. Lastly, the provisions that restrict the FCC's ability to preserve competition and promote an open Internet simply do not belong in this legislation. I think our country is counting on us to make smart and bipartisan choices. I'm sorry to say that I don't think that this bill meets the standard. I do believe that the Senate accomplished these goals in S-911, and I believe we can too, but not through this bill, and I urge uh, opposition to it for the reasons I stated. Thank you. Gentleman from Michigan. Mr. Speaker, at this point,